good morning guys and welcome back to my channel um it's been a hell of a last couple weeks y'all like i'm tired I'm overwhelmed the fact that i'm even up this morning trying to record we're making progress because i am tired honey if you guys are here for a story time i really don't have a story time right now um i'll probably have one in the next video like i said i'm just even thankful that i'm up right now because sleep has been my best friend <laughs> it's just when i get stressed out and i get tired i go to sleep and so i've been sleeping for like the last two weeks that and then being out here in these streets it's just been a lot going on but let's jump on into this makeup because i got to go okay i'm using the wet and wild pencil today it looks like my makeup revolution pencil but what happened was see what happened was I went to Walmart. Y'all know that Walmart don't sell um, Make a Revolution. Well, at least I don't think they do. I haven't seen it in Texas. If they do, let me know. But I went in there and I needed a brow pencil, but I also needed a couple other items. And I was like, well, majority of what I need is at Walmart. So let me go to Walmart and not go to Target because I don't like going to all them damn stores. So I go into Walmart. They don't have Make a Revolution. So I was like, well, I don't have a choice but to get the Wet and Wild and just pray for the best and honestly it does work the same way i mean they're about the same price but it does work the same way it looks like this one may have more in it i'm not really sure um but i don't really see a huge difference in it i mean it is what it is to me a little bit of concealer this is the fenty concealer and i'm gonna clean up my brows because them things need to be cleaned up i just have not felt like getting out of bed i don't know like for real for real i think it's a mixture of me just being tired from ripping and running these streets to like just i don't know being stressed when i'm stressed y'all i sleep like that is the best way for me to get over my stressization is to go to sleep and so i just been sleeping because it's just been a lot of shit going on. And then on top of that, I think I've become a little bit more popular. So with me being a little bit more popular now, people will be wanting me to come to events and shit. So I'll be like, damn, I didn't realize I had all these different friend groups. So here we are back to back days, back to back weekends going out. Like this is a lot. Like, every time I turn around, I'm being invited to something. And I'm not upset about it, but I be like, dang, why all y'all got stuff back to bit to bit? Like, I need a recovery day. I actually need, like, probably, like, two or three recovery days, honestly. Because, <laughs> oh, I be tired. Even on the weekends, like, I have to plan my day. Like, I know I can do this, this, and this. And then after that, I know Sunday... I'm going to take Sunday just to relax. But it was like, I was off on Friday. I had somewhere to be on Friday. Then, while I was at the event on Friday, I got invited to something on Saturday. Then I wound up having to take my boyfriend to go get his car done. It was just a lot on me. When I tell y'all I was in the bed by like 6, I was in the bed by like 6. I was like, I can't handle, this is too much. This is too much. And I knew that it wasn't just me, even though like I've gotten older. I knew that it wasn't just me because my kids was tired too. Like they was like, mm-mm. You know we don't be doing this. Like we don't be out here in them streets like that no more. So to get started, I'm gonna be using the Look and Lash Playful palette. It has all these like pretty colors in there. I'm gonna be using the greens out of here because I kinda of wanna do another green look. Like green has been my my happy place here lately. Um, especially since it's been fall like green is probably one of my favorite colors to see on my skin tone i don't know how it's gonna come out but we're gonna rock with it. i'm gonna start out with the green in this palette and just apply that to my crease um so one of like my main stressors here lately has been um my rent y'all because it was time for me to renew my lease and i wanted to move that was the whole thing i wanted to get into a home but i don't know about nobody else but this is what we call like a seller's market i think it's all over i really don't think it's just in texas um but i guess with so many people migrating here and willing to pay double and triple for homes the prices for them have gone up so 
I was like, I do not want to pay 60000 over what a home is worth. Like, I just don't want to do that. My boss did that. A couple other people I know have done that because they wanted to buy houses. But for me, I was just like, I don't, I don't want to go upside down. Like, I just don't. Like, if the house is only worth 300000 I only want to pay 300000 305 at the very most. I don't want to pay 360000 just because we got a whole bunch of people moving here. Like, what's not clicking, Steven? I was working with, like, a couple realtors, and they were like, yeah, no, we're not going to be able to get you in that thing and your price range because it's a seller's market so everybody's moving here they're willing to pay extra for homes and all of this stuff they told me to just try again in um january and stuff but my lease is up in december and so you know i don't know if you guys know but if um as a renter you have to give 60 days notice so i was like well fuck it i'm gonna just move because i've been here for about four four years now four going on five years and um I don't really like the management company. I stay because I really hate moving. Like, the whole process of moving is just not my thing. Plus, this was going to be my last year because I wanted to buy a house. So, I was like, I'm not really going to worry about it. But, in me searching for a different apartment, they even went up on their rent two times the amount, right? So, I'm like, what the hell? Like, what do you mean you went up on your rent two times the amount? And I guess because, again... It is a seller's market and besides that Texas does not have a cap on the amount of rent that you can go up every year they just don't like, Texas is bad in so many ways like how the fuck did I end up here like I don't know but it's stressful I know I have to go in with like I just I just gotta I just gotta do it one of these days I'm not but like I have to do it right now I just oh it makes me sick not to do it I don't know it's just something that I do it's weird I don't know but I have to have like a deep edge I don't know what that is I don't know why that's an obsession for me but it's just my zhuzh okay it's just something that we gotta rock with so rock with it I did my apartment search because I was like I know I didn't want to be here another year but I also knew in the back of my mind I probably wasn't gonna go nowhere because I really didn't want to have to deal with moving um so I started looking but for like a two but like for a three bedroom, they were starting out at nineteen, two thousand dollars. Like, what are you, what are you doing? This is not freaking California. Why are you charging that much? But again, because right now it's a seller's market. It's not really a buyer's market. This is strictly for the sellers. Uh, so I was like, okay, well, we just don't have to wait on my renewal letter. I get my renewal letter, and my renewal letter is three hundred more monthly. Like, you want a $300 every single month? Not $300 for the year. $300 a month. So, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer I'm going in with. And I'm just going to cut my crease with this. They sent out that damn renewal letter. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? So, I call over to the office. Now, mind y'all, I don't like none of them motherfuckers in there. Because I feel like they be testing my patience every time I call and they don't never have the same staff every time you get comfortable with somebody and be like all right bet i kind of like you they freaking quit or it's a different like temp agency or whatever so you know when you're working for a temp agency you really don't care nine times out of ten like you you don't give a shit about that damn job you know what i'm saying like so every time i call over there it's always some type of beef because they don't give a shit so I called I'm like, bro, how's you going up $300? Like, y'all ain't installed nothing new in my apartment. Like, nothing here is, you know, worth $300 increase. Like, the hell is wrong with you? So, I called over to the leasing office and I tried to be as polite as I can. I asked for the manager. I'm like, what is the problem? Like, why are you trying to go $300 in rent? You know what I'm saying? Like, so I explained all my concerns. I'm like, y'all ain't fix nothing. Blah, 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 blah. Run down the list. This heifer pull up the goddamn lease like she about to help me. And she's like, oh, yeah, I do see the increase of $300. Actually, it's only $299. Do you think I give a fuck about a dollar? Like, stop playing with me. Round it up, bitch. Round it up. So she's like, um, yeah, so she's reviewing everything just to say that she can't help me. So like now I'm frustrated because you didn't just wasted 10 minutes of my fucking time, bitch. And you knew you couldn't help me from the beginning. Now, mind you, I asked for a manager in the beginning. 
you love claiming that you're a manager, but now all of a sudden you just the assistant manager. I don't know how to play semantics with you because I'd have been a bust you in your shit. So who do I need to talk to? Well, I'll send an email on your behalf. Okay, when you wake up the crazy lady, it's not going to be anything nice. Oh my goodness, I have not worked with shimmers in forever, but I'm gonna use some shimmer to fill this in. Like I said, I have not worked with shimmer in a long time, but that's okay. I'm gonna make it do what it do, babe. I literally have to call up there every single day because this heifer just refused to give me answers, right? So I'm calling them like, well, who's your manager? Give me their phone number. Oh, I can't. No, I'm lying. She did give me the, the email address, but she gave me the wrong fucking email. Like, here you go fucking playing with me, right? So, when I really put my mind to some shit, I can figure some shit out. So I'm like, okay, you want to play hardball and not give me the information? That's fine. I'll figure it out myself. And I'm like, the only thing I really asked her to do was just do your job. Like, I didn't even need to talk to your manager. I had you do what you were supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, all you had to do was just reach back out to me. Let me know what was going on. Whether or not y'all was going to be able to work with me. But no, you want to sit up there and fuck with me. Like, I won't smack a spark out your ass. So, I was like, you know what? I'm done playing with you. Okay? I will say her name, but I'm going to be nice. I'm done playing with you because I've been a bus during your shit. So I call around, I get the number to corporate, right? So I'm like, corporate. Oh, this is green, by the way. I'm sorry. So I get the number to corporate. I guess she thought I wasn't going to be able to figure out who the hell her regional manager was. <laughs> I figure out who the regional manager is. I call the regional manager. I leave a review. I email everybody and a mama at corporate you gonna stop playing with me because somebody's going to give me the answers that i need whether it be you whether it be your manager your manager's managers somebody's gonna give me an answer when it all could have stopped at you had you done what you're supposed to do but see you wanted to make it hard steven what's not clicking steven you wanted to make it hard but that's putting my primer on and I'm just going to rub all that in. This is the Lori Mercier primer. It's my favorite primer. I love my eyeshadow. It's like sea green. Oh my gosh. It's hitting y'all. Can y'all see? Like the green on the inside. At first I was going to do like the green out here where the blue is. But I'm glad I reversed it. Flip it and reverse it. Because it's ramp. We don't want to ramp. ramp. Yes. It looks great. Hopefully it shows up on camera. But it kind of makes it look like it's glowing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a glow in the dark type of thing. So I have on some color corrector. Because I noticed that under my eyes I get a little bit dark. But especially around my mouth. Like you get like a little bit of that little mustache going. You know what I'm saying? So I like to color correct prior to me going in um, with my foundation. And as an oily skin girl, like this really, really helps. Not the color correcting part, but what I'm gonna do afterwards is really, really gonna set it off. And then I feel like, I've been using this routine for a little bit, but I feel like this has been like the glue to make it like really, really stay. Cause my makeup has been staying for kind of like six, seven, eight hours now. I mean, if not longer, but this is what's been making it really really stay so i'll show you guys okay so this is the trick to make your makeup last for a long time do you want to put on a setting powder i prefer to use the laura mercier powder i love this powder um and i feel like it's great on all skin types like i legit had a fair skin client and this just set her all night i think we did her makeup at three and even after she was partying and sweating and stuff, her makeup was still set. So between the primer and the setting powder, y'all, go and get it. And besides, you don't have to use a lot, y'all. Like, it's literally just a little bit. I used to go really, really heavy-handed with um, baking and, you know, setting. Now, not so much. But you want to set your color corrector because if you don't, it'll move. And you don't want it to move, okay? The point of color correcting is to make sure that we color correct in the spots that you want to be color corrected. So, you don't want it to move, but I just set that all in place. Do y'all see how this green right now is giving me glowy, glowy vibes? Mm, I'm here for it. But this going to help you, okay? So, anywhere that you color correct it, make sure you set. Or if you don't want to color correct, you just want to go in and set before you um, put on your makeup. 
that's also key too as long as you sit then you should be fine okay all right i'm gonna go in with my nars because i feel like nars does not get enough love i really really use my fenty and that's just because fenty does not come off of my mask um when i have to wear it and i just like it it just sits all day the nars is kind of sketch sketch sometimes it's good but some of these foundations i feel like just are not good when you wear a mask and this is just one of them great foundation on its own just not mask proof okay anyway uh i went and i called around to the regional corporate everybody okay so you know when you start knocking on doors like that people be like who the hell is this and why the hell does she keep you know calling and stuff so eventually well not eventually like the next day i got a phone call back i talked to the regional manager we came to an agreement on the rent so then that was like something that i didn't have to like really stress over and even though like i didn't have to stress over it to begin with because my boo was like whatever you need like i'm gonna make sure you good but when it comes down to that like i just don't like depending on people because i've seen it so many times and that's something that's like within me that i have to work on but i've seen it so many times where I've depended on somebody and then they fell through, you know, and I just don't ever want to be dependent on anybody. Like I want to be able to do it myself. And so I just knew there was no way I could pay an additional 300 plus save for a new house. Like just not in a way y'all. Okay. I love the way the NARS goes on. I think it just kind of instantly, like you don't have to wait on it to dry down to your skin tone. Like it's just it's a good thing and if you guys don't know you can always build the coverage by just using multiple layers um but you know whatever i'm gonna go in with my fenty this is in the shade 420 just to conceal under my eyes because i don't really go under my eyes with the um, foundation because i don't want it to be like super cakey but if you guys want to you can i just choose not to um, and then I go down my nose, you know, just to give me a nice little highlight here, 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 here. And then I kind of let that sit a little bit. I was going to contour with the, um, with my little contour stick, but I'm not cause yeah, I don't have time for that today. So I'm just going to contour with powders today and hopefully we can call it a day and it all looks great, but we gonna see then adding to my stress y'all is i got my kids the lord i told y'all having kids is not for the faint of heart it seems like every week one of them is getting in trouble and they alternate weeks which yay thank you for alternating weeks and not being in trouble on the same week but it's like why am i up here every single week because of y'all and my kids i have to thank god because i really don't have bad kids they're just very outspoken you know and sometimes they can get you in trouble like they haven't learned what is it tech like they just have not learned it like sometimes you can't say everything that's on your mind as much as we would love to sometimes you got to have a little bit of cool and just not say it and they ain't at that age you know what i'm saying they at the age they like whatever comes to mind is what i'm gonna say if i don't like your hair today i'm gonna say i don't like your hair today like they're just they don't mean to be mean they're just super active and then you come home and it's the fighting at home y'all i've been stressed and i need a drink i need like just a night where i just go out and just drink my life away which i'm probably not gonna do anyway because i really don't like to be drunk i think i've gotten drunk drunk one time to the point where i embarrass myself in front of like my ex's parents big country's parents yeah y'all it wasn't <laughs> It wasn't the greatest moment, but uh, yeah, we'll tell you that in another story time. You know, I'll go over that and let you guys know, but it's one of my fondest memories. <laughs> Do you guys see that I changed my background yet again? Y'all, I am probably like the most indecisive person ever. Like, sorry, not sorry. I'm always going to be indecisive. Like, I'm always going to change my mind on stuff. Like, it's just, it's a way of life for me. It really is. It's just a way of life. I can't help it because what happens is I look at stuff and I play it back and I'm like oh I don't like it oh yes I do I love that I'll love it for like a day and then when I play it back I go back through my other photos and then I'll be like damn that did look nice like that let me change it back so then I change it back and then I'll be like oh the other one did look nice so let me change it back it's a never-ending cycle 
it is hard it is so hard because i never am satisfied i don't know what the hell that is but i'm never satisfied i need to get my life together i need to do better with my life okay i'm gonna take some of this this is the beauty bakery um bronzer it's in the perfect is this shade perfect blend yeah i don't know i think it's in the shade perfect blend i mean that's the name on here so we're gonna go with that i thought maybe they were telling me it's a perfect blend i don't know but i'm gonna use this as a darker shade to just kind of bring out um like my cheeks just kind of make them you know like create some dimension there i hope that makes sense y'all know i don't know how to explain stuff um but i just want to use that just to create a little bit of dimension there and kind of make it seem like my cheeks is like hollowed out a little bit i don't know i don't know what i'm going for i'm just doing it so just rock with me a little bit so i'm just gonna put that up in there like so i think okay yeah then we'll go in with our fenty bronzer and just kind of bring that all together kind of blend it out this is the fenty beauty i use this as my bronzer as well and i'm just gonna go right on top of that um beauty bakery we just put down just to make sure that's a nice little blend and it's not just like a harsh brown there if that makes sense so just blending that out oh and what i put on before was just a setting powder i have to go y'all so i can't be talking too much i put on a setting powder and that was just the laura mercier laura mercier um is my favorite when it comes to the fenty honey and the, the laura mercier honey i would have to say laura mercier is a lot thinner um and it just lays like a lot better fenty is still a good setting powder but just if i had to compare like if it was no choice then yeah i would go with the laura mercier laura mercier is international baby it works on all skin tones so just love it it's just a good a good little setting powder and it just looks really really good and it matches you down i just i like it i like it a lot but i also like the fenty but like i said if if I had to choose, it would be Laura Mercier. If I had to. If I was forced. Y'all, yeah, listen to me. And, and listen to me right now. I got a PSA because we need to talk. If y'all are putting freaking hair glue on your lashes, you need to stop. Like, for real. I don't be judging nobody in what y'all do. But I'm, I'm totally judging y'all. Like, I feel like y'all make poor life decisions if you put hair glue on your lashes. Like... You better go and get you some actual lash glue for your, your lids be all gummy and you got eye infections and shit. It just ain't right. It's just not natural. It's not it's not an act of the Lord for you to put hair glue on your lashes. And then sometimes I be seeing people be putting it like on the individuals. Like, have you lost your mind? Like, that's going like under your eye. Like, no, go get you some lash glue, please. I am begging you. Like I told you, I don't be judging y'all because it's a... A no judgment zone but i feel like if you put hair glue on your lashes you make poor life decisions and i'm i'm not really sure if we can be friends i, I don't who would have ever thought that i would be using like the idiot's tiniest lash now y'all remember back in the day if y'all like some ogs y'all been here y'all know i used to use them thicky thicks like them spiders and then it kind of went down to like a medium lash and now we are like baby lashes like oh my gosh and i actually like the way they look before i used to be like oh hell no that's not enough volume like it's just not but now i'm like oh yep sign me up honey that works just fine for me like just a baby lash it's crazy look how time has changed and i feel like when you do a baby lash like it kind of just Make sure our work come to life so you didn't do all of that for nothing. Like when you do like a big lash, it kind of takes away from the eyeshadow until you look down. But see, you see I'm going with this? Like because I have like a smaller lash, you can see like a lot, a lot more. You know what I'm saying? With my eye open. I don't know. I could be tripping, but I, you know, I think it's right. Okay, I got my pencil. This is just a dark brown pencil from NK. You can pick these up at your beauty supply store. I don't know if it's true for you, but I'm just saying for me, I pick them up at the beauty supply store. So just gonna use this oh my goodness get out of my way to line my lips uh, uh. I hate when my pencil breaks like this is not okay honey you guys to 
be sharpened. Okay, I'm gonna try to focus again. I've been really itching to do color on my hair and maybe try a red lip. I don't know. I might do it this weekend. I don't know, y'all. I need like a change of scenery type of thing. Because right now, no ma'am. I just need to become somebody different and just like relaxed for a little bit. I think that would be great for me. Okay, I'm going to go in with my nude embrace. I got to hurry up, y'all, because I'm like literally running behind. But I'm always late, so it'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to go in with like a little bit of the Juvia's Place. This is the bronzed sugar. There to the middle of the lips. I'm going to blend out. Looking great. I'm looking gorgeous. Okay, so now it is time to blend out. So we're going to blend everything out. And if you guys have made it here, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I don't think I'm going to be using setting powder today because, like, I like setting powder. I mean, not setting powder, uh, setting spray. I like setting spray, but I just feel like it, it mats. I mean, not mats, but it, like, gets me all the way skin-like. And sometimes I like to look like I got a little bit of makeup on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go all the way skin, you know, and I don't want to look dewy and I don't know sometimes I just kind of like to rock where I'm at so I don't know if I'm gonna be using any setting spray I'm not really sure yet I might because you also don't want to be like too powdery it's like a lose lose type of situation I don't know it's a thin line between love and hate um but I'm gonna add like a little bit of blush y'all know my blush I've been using is the Juvia's Face um palette this is the nubian glow palette and i just use the orange out of here this one right here the one that we've hit pan on as you guys can see i've been using the orange out of there just to kind of you know add a little bit of color to my cheeks for whatever reason me and orange been vibing as far as it goes um blush wise so yeah that's just been my thing i want to make sure that it's evenly coated on the brush so not one spot is, you know, brighter than the other. But I just kind of pat this on. I feel like patting is just, for me, it's just easier for me to get it where I need it to go. And as you guys can see, it added like some nice little color there. All right, guys. So here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to do some awkward posing and I'll see you guys next time.